This symbol is known as a square root sign or radical sign. It is asking us what number times itself equals what's in the radical sign. For example, let's find the square root of 25. What number times itself equals 25? The answer is 5. Oh yeah! 5 times 5 is 25. Let's do another example. What is the square root of 49? Well, 7 times 7 equals 49. So our answer is... 7. Ooh, I'm good. Both 25 and 49 are perfect squares. This makes it a little easier to factor. When a number inside the radical sign is not a perfect square, we have to use a factor tree. Here we are asked to find the square root of 54. So let's start a factor tree. Let's see, does 2 divide into 54? Yes, it does. 54 divided by 2 is 27. So our factors of 54 are 2 and 27. 27 can factor down further. This time, we do not want to divide by 2 because 27 divided by 2 is 13 and a half. We want nice and neat whole numbers, not fractions of numbers. So 2 won't work. Let's try 3. 3 goes into 27 9 times, so this will work. 9 will factor further. 3 times 3 equals 9, so 3 and 3 become the factors. 3 will not factor any further. This is what we call a prime number. Now notice that we have a pair of 3's. Whenever we have a pair of any number, we can pull out one of the numbers and place it outside the radical sign. We are left with a 2 and a 3 that remain inside the radical sign. 2 times 3 equals 6. So our answer is... 3 root 6. Oh yeah, time to boogie. Simplify that radical! Simplify that radical! Simplify that radical!